Did you know that 80% of Americans believe that teeth whitening damages tooth enamel? A shocking misconception. Let's take a moment to set the record straight. Teeth whitening when done properly does not damage your enamel. Enamel, that glossy protective outer layer of our teeth, is tough. It's the hardest substance in the human body. The myth that teeth whitening damages this hardy structure probably originated from the temporary sensitivity some people experience after a whitening treatment. But rest assured, this sensitivity is not a sign of damage to your enamel. Professional teeth whitening treatments, whether performed in a dental office or with dentist-approved home kits, are designed to be safe for your teeth. They work by using a bleaching agent, often hydrogen peroxide, to break stains into smaller pieces. This process makes the color less concentrated and your teeth brighter, but it doesn't erode or harm your enamel. Even at home teeth whitening methods, when used as directed, are generally safe for your enamel. The key here is, as directed. Overuse or misuse of whitening products can lead to gum irritation and tooth sensitivity, but this is typically a result of not following the product's instructions, not an inherent risk of whitening. The bottom line is this. Teeth whitening, when done responsibly, is a safe and effective way to brighten your smile. It's not a threat to your enamel. So, if you've been holding back from trying teeth whitening because of this myth, it's time to reconsider. Of course, it's always a good idea to talk to your dentist before starting any new dental treatment. They can guide you through the process and help you find the best teeth whitening method for your unique smile. But teeth whitening is only one piece of the puzzle when it comes to maintaining a healthy, radiant smile. Another crucial aspect is tartar removal, a topic shrouded in its own set of myths and misconceptions. Now that we've cleared up that misconception, let's dive into the world of teeth whitening and tartar removal. Teeth whitening might seem like magic, but it's actually all science. To understand the science behind teeth whitening, we first need to delve into why our teeth get stained in the first place. Our teeth have a protective outer layer called enamel, which is naturally white. However, the foods and drinks we consume, such as coffee, tea, and red wine, contain chromogens. These are compounds with strong pigments that can attach to the enamel and cause discoloration. What's more, our teeth have tiny microscopic ridges and pits where particles from what we eat and drink can get stuck. Over time, these particles build up and form a layer of plaque, which can harden into tartar if not regularly removed. Both plaque and tartar can cause our teeth to look yellow or even brown. Now, let's get to the heart of teeth whitening. How does it work? Teeth whitening products typically contain an active ingredient such as hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide. These ingredients penetrate the enamel to get to the discolored molecules. Oxygen molecules from the whitening agents react with the discolored molecules in your teeth, breaking the bonds that hold them together. The result? The molecules are spread out and they reflect less light. This process makes your teeth appear whiter. However, teeth whitening is not a one-time solution. To maintain the results, you've got to keep up with your dental hygiene. Brushing twice a day, flossing regularly, and getting professional cleanings at least twice a year are crucial. These habits help to remove the plaque and tartar that contribute to tooth discoloration. Additionally, consider reducing your intake of stain-causing foods and drinks, or brush your teeth immediately after consuming them. In conclusion, Teeth whitening is a dynamic process that involves the interaction of whitening agents with the molecules that cause tooth discoloration. It's a combination of chemistry and consistent dental hygiene practices that can give you that bright white smile you're after. With the right tools and knowledge, you can achieve pearl white teeth in no time. Interested in whitening your teeth at home? Here's how to do it safely and effectively. The first step is to choose the right product. There are many options available, from whitening strips to trays, gels, and toothpastes. Keep in mind that not all products are created equal. Some contain higher concentrations of whitening agents, while others may be more gentle on sensitive teeth. It's important to do your research and choose a product that suits your needs and comfort level. Once you've chosen your product, it's time to get started. Despite the variety of products, the application process is generally similar. For strips or trays, you'll apply the product directly to your teeth, ensuring that all surfaces are evenly covered. If you're using a whitening toothpaste or gel, you'll brush as you normally would, but for a slightly longer duration. Now here's where it gets crucial. No matter which product you choose, follow the instructions to the letter. This is not a situation where more is necessarily better. Overusing whitening products can lead to tooth sensitivity and gum irritation. So, it's vital to stick to the recommended usage guidelines. 
Also, it's worth mentioning that consistency is key. You can't expect to see results after just one application. Teeth whitening is a gradual process. It may take several weeks of consistent use before you start to see a noticeable difference. But trust me, the wait is worth it. In the meantime, you can support your whitening efforts by maintaining good oral hygiene, regular brushing, flossing, and avoiding foods and drinks that stain, like coffee and red wine, can help keep your teeth looking their best. And lastly, don't forget to consult with your dentist. They can provide professional advice tailored to your specific needs and circumstances. They can also monitor your progress and help you avoid potential pitfalls. Remember, patience is key when it comes to teeth whitening. The results won't happen overnight, but they will come with consistent use. Now, let's talk about tartar, the hidden enemy of our teeth. Tartar, also known as dental calculus, is a hardened deposit that forms on your teeth when plaque, a sticky film of bacteria, is not removed promptly. It's like the uninvited guest that decides to permanently move into your mouth if you don't take action in time. It's crucial to understand that tartar is not your friend. It harbors bacteria, contributes to cavities, and can lead to gum diseases like gingivitis. It's like the silent villain in a movie, slowly but surely causing harm without making a sound. Now you might be wondering, how does tartar form? Well, it's a process that starts with poor oral hygiene. If you skip brushing your teeth or flossing, plaque starts to accumulate on the teeth and along the gum line. Over time, this plaque hardens and turns into tartar. And here's the kicker. Unlike plaque, which can be easily removed by brushing and flossing, tartar is stubborn. It's like a stain on your favorite shirt that refuses to come off no matter how hard you scrub. This is where regular brushing and flossing come into play. They are your first line of defense against tartar. Brushing twice a day and flossing at least once a day can help remove plaque before it gets a chance to harden into tartar. But remember, it's not just about frequency, but also about technique. Make sure you're brushing all surfaces of your teeth and flossing correctly to remove plaque effectively. But even with the most diligent home care, some plaque may still harden into tartar. This is why professional dental cleanings are so important. Your dentist or dental hygienist has the tools and expertise to remove tartar deposits, keeping your teeth clean and healthy. Tartar may be a tough opponent, but with the right dental routine, it can be kept at bay. So remember to brush, floss, and schedule regular dental cleanings. Your teeth will thank you for it. Today we've learned a lot about teeth whitening and tartar removal. We started our journey by debunking some of the most common dental myths. We've discovered that white teeth aren't always an indicator of good oral health and that yellow teeth can sometimes be perfectly healthy. It's also become clear that not all teeth whitening methods are created equal, and some can even be harmful. From there we delved into the fascinating world of teeth whitening science. We learned about the role of enamel, the outermost layer of our teeth, and how it can be stained by various substances we consume. We also found out how different teeth whitening products work, from toothpaste and strips to more professional treatments. We discovered that these products typically contain a bleaching agent, like hydrogen peroxide, which works to break stains into smaller pieces making the color less concentrated and your teeth brighter. Next, we explored the realm of teeth whitening at home. We discussed the benefits of natural remedies like oil pulling and apple cider vinegar and touched on the importance of a good oral hygiene routine. We also talked about the effectiveness of over-the-counter whitening products and how they can be used safely and effectively. Then we tackled the topic of tartar. We learned that tartar is a hardened form of plaque that can't be removed by regular brushing or flossing. We discovered that the best way to prevent tartar buildup is through regular professional cleanings and by maintaining a consistent oral hygiene routine that includes twice daily brushing and daily flossing. So, What's the takeaway from all of this? Well, achieving pearly white teeth isn't just about vanity, it's about maintaining good oral health. And remember, the journey to a brighter smile doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, patience, and care. Remember, a beautiful smile starts with healthy teeth. So, take care of your pearly whites, and they'll shine bright for you.